but this this was the uh, <laughs> the Larry Ragland story. Larry Ragland uh, was a comic who did a lot of impressions. Brilliant. I mean, he was a, he was he could sing. He could dance. He was a little bit older, a uh, black guy. He opened up for Sammy Davis Jr. And the story was that um, he kind of derailed the role that he was on with his career because when he opened up for Sammy Davis Jr., I don't know if this is true, I just got to qualify it with that, that Sammy told him, do whatever you want, but don't do impressions of me. And that was his close. He was great at it. And he came out and he did it. He never opened for Sammy again, and he never got to back to the level where he, sh- he could have or should have been. He was a very, very angry guy, and he no, nothing would make him happy, and he was just just miserable. Great performer, but just miserable to be around. And one day, Vic was on his way up to do a gig in Valley Cottage in New York, up near where... Dubonnet's. Uh, Dubonnet's. Or Mr. Rips, what was it? It was, it was first Dubonnet's, yeah. and it became Mr. Rips. And uh, just to give you an idea how long ago it was, it used to be a way station for a stagecoach, and then it became a brothel, then it became a biker bar, then it became a comedy club. So, all right? <laughs> makes sense. It makes mm. sense. And across the street, there's pigs and chickens. There's, it was a good, there was, a, there was a, actually a farm right. for, like, the island of misfit animals, you know? It was it was like <laughs> the pig that couldn't oink, you know? <laughs> uh, uh, you know What's the, your number? <laughs> <laughs> I'm living with her now. We'll stand, stand, stand back. It was really like, you know, was, I'm not kidding you, if you weren't doing well in the middle of your set, it was not on comedy air. <laughs> I swear to God. So there, Vic is driving up to the gig, and he's got Larry in the car. He had to pick him up. That was the thing. If you were a, uh, if you were a uh, comic didn't live in the city, you had a car. Yeah. But you always had to pick up the well, city Well, you had guys. to send a headshot of the car you had. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So Vic picks up. Was it just Larry, or was there someone else? It was me, my brother-in-law Jimmy. He took a okay. ride with me. Okay. And Peter Bale. No, Peter Bales was at the gig. At the gig. Okay. So he picks up Larry. He gets in the back car. Larry doesn't. He don't like to talk. He don't like to socialize. So on the way up, they start lighting up a joint, and they start, you know, taking a taking a couple of hits. And Larry Ragland goes, "Man, you're gonna smoke that. Why don't you just let me off at the next exit?" And Vic goes, tell you what, how about I let you off here? <laughs> <laughs> he pulls off. He opens the door and kicks him out of the car. He never even got to the gig. <laughs> Peter, me and Peter Bills did his time. We split his money. <laughs> That's all. I'll tell you what, I let you off here. The, and then one night I called him. This was after the vernal mm-hmm. equinox. He got, Vic got really hurt over this. So oh, I, my God. I call him up. I was just, you know, hey, how you doing? What's going on? He goes, so... Ask me what happened last night. All right, I'll bite what happened. I got hit with a bag of piss. <laughs> I, go, I go, what? As you do. As you do. He goes, yep, got hit with a bag of piss. I go, what are you talking about? He said, uh, I was collecting the garbage, and <laughs> there was a couple of guys standing on the roof watching the Vernal Equinox, and they were drinking beers, and they had nowhere to go, so they had they decided they would fill up the paper bag that, they were, that, they, that the beers came in relieve themselves in the paper bag. So you figure two guys <laughs> urinating into a paper bag, it's got to weigh a couple pounds, right? Yeah. At least two pounds. It was a Deer Park bottle that they filled. <laughs> it was a, oh, I yeah. thought it was a bag. No. Deer Park, that's good. <laughs> that's good to hear. <laughs> I thought, it, I'm sorry, I didn't know that. And I was saturated. Okay, so, so he went, hold on, he goes, he goes, he's, he's leaning into the back of the truck and the bottle hits him on the back and explodes. It actually explodes. He said it was like dripping off his nose, <laughs> off his eyes, and he's going, he's going, ah, 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 and a cop car happened to be right there, pulling around the corner. The cops pull up. What happened? He goes, I got hit with a bag of piss, and they, the guys, they caught the guy. They said it could have been worse. Could have been a bag of yeah. yeah. <laughs> New York cops could have been worse. Could have been a bag of fecal matter. Wow. They didn't use fecal matter. Number two. 